Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Reese Retro Toys. On today's episode, I am going to show you what I've picked up off camera. Most recently uh, at d and &E Collectibles. I've already done several videos of these guys, so the last time I went with my buddy Chad and Hunter was there working as well, I didn't film the actual toy picking process, but I did come back with some excellent excellent vintage toy goodies that I wanted to share with you guys, including some masks and humanoids, turtles, just all sorts of goodies. So without further ado, let's get to my toy collection update number 11. Okay, first up in this collection update are a few Inhumanoids figures that I picked up for my collection. and other figures sold separately from Hasbro. I picked up three of the human characters, the Earth Core characters. This is Liquidator, and he is 100% complete. So let's take a closer look here at this Liquidator figure. His helmet is a little bizarre. It has the clear plastic on the top that lets light through. You can see there my finger over it. It was dark, green, dark. And then his backpack here clips onto his figure. That hole there. And then this part here is a little cork mechanism you can take out like that. Like a squirt gun. Like an old-fashioned plastic squirt gun would have. And then you can fill that with water that back in there like so and then you would attach the hose to it right here see that inside a little nozzle there pop that on like that put the backpack back on and then it would attach right here to that hole Unfortunately, I found out that the tip, the plastic tip that goes into his arm here is actually broken off inside of the hose. Uh, I didn't even realize that when I bought the figure. I mean, it's there, but it's stuck inside <laughs> the hose. But anyway, it would, it would clip in there, and then obviously you could hit this button here and he would squirt out water or whatever substance you decided to put in. Let me pop off his helmet here. There is Liquidator. That stunning 80s beard. Uh, I mean, I guess they look similar to the cartoon to an extent. I think they look a little goofy with the giant bodies and the tiny head. <laughs> but regardless, uh, cool, cool action figures. Uh, from 1986. The next one I picked up is Dr. Derek Bright from Earth Core, and he is complete with both hand attachments and his helmet. You can see that he has these claw mechanisms on his hands. This one as well. Other than that, he doesn't do too much. He doesn't have a water squirting feature or grappling hook feature like the others. He does have a hole there. I guess you could attach a backpack to him if you wanted. And then his helmet is the same. It has the light feature. The clear portion on the top. Pop this off here. There's a good look at Dr. Derek Bright from Earth Core. Fighting those inhumanoids, the evil that lies within. And the last one I picked up is Herc Armstrong from Earth Core. And he has his helmet and hand attachment. Unfortunately, he is missing his red grappling hook and string. As I mentioned, unfortunately does not have the grappling hook that goes in there. And then he had, this would wind the string back into his arm. If I had the grappling hook and string, it was red. He also has a hole for uh, a backpack accessory. 
he wanted to swap out the yellow backpack that was on Liquidator. And of course he has the clear plastic there that makes his helmet light up. I think that's a cool feature. I really like that. Pop off his helmet here. It's a little tricky. And there he is. Herc Armstrong. I don't know, guys. Do you think it looks like him? <laughs> what do you think? Next up, I got a complete vintage Rambo and the Force of Freedom figure. Rambo and General Warhawk with their battle action weapons, each sold separately. This is uh, the regular Rambo figure. He came with all of his accessories. All right, and here is the 100% complete John Rambo figure I needed for my Rambo collection. You guys know that I've been collecting these recently. And I didn't have a complete John Rambo. So I needed to remedy that when I saw this at d &E the last time I was there. So he has obviously his belt which has the buoy knife sheath and another attachment that he could put random weapons in and he has his bandolier that would go across his chest his machine gun his knife two daggers um, he has his file card as well. They came packaged with the figures. Gives all of their statistics. It also gives the listing of weapons that the figure came with. Love that. And here is the RPG rocket launcher. And so these weapons came with strings and a spring mechanism, right? So it doesn't clip like a lot of the toys back in the back in the 80s. They clipped in, and there'd be a button right to push to push down, and it would fire out. However, the Rambo figures didn't have the button mechanism. They had a spring inside, so it's so it's spring loaded. But you use the string, see, and the little plastic piece at the end, so you didn't lose the string, and you just pulled on it and it would shoot out. But you could just pull it right back. You didn't have to worry about losing the missile or the projectile. I think that's a pretty cool feature. Let me see if it'll knock him over. Ugh, Rambo! And for comparison's sakes, I'll show you the Rambo that I have. So here's the Rambo I have. You can see his head is very discolored <laughs> compared to the rest of his body. But I swear it's a different head sculpt. Am I crazy? So here's the one I have now. This is my old one. Is it just the, the coloring that's off making it look different? Or is it actually a different head? I mean, they both have the, the soft heads. The one on the right's a little firmer than this one, but I don't know. They look kind of different to me. Anyway, so I got a complete Rambo now. And then I found this very cool vintage Ninja Turtles ball cap. It's almost like a painter's cap, if you will. And this is vintage from 1990. So it has that very late 80s, early 90s design characteristics to it. I love it. Of course, it doesn't really fit me, although it says one size fits all. But hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> D&E had this resting on their Jason Voorhees, their life-size Jason Voorhees near the cash register. And I was like, wait a minute. I don't have that, <laughs> so I, uh, I picked it up the last time I was there. And then finally, I picked up five 
additional mask vehicles and figures for my collection. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Mask, Switchblade, Thunderhawk, and Rhino, each sold separately, new from Kenner. This is, of course, Condor, one of the cheaper vehicles that you could find in the mask line. I've heard many people say that uh, almost everybody that had mask had Condor. Um, it's just one of those common, common uh, vehicles to find in the mask line. All right, so here's the Condor with Brad Turner and Hocus Pocus mask. What's cool about this is that this is the short mask version of Brad Turner that was only released uh, the first series. There he is there with his awesome sunglasses on because he is a rock star if you watch the cartoon. And then there is the short mask. Eventually uh, the masks would grow in size. They would add pieces towards the bottom and then holes on the top so kids would not choke on them. So the short mask versions are one way to tell if they are original issues or not. So there's Brad Turner, the Hocus Pocus mask. And the Condor itself is just a uh, green sport bike. It has the kickstand here on the bottom. Kind of snap into place there, hold itself up. And then you would just push that up like that. See that? Then the skis would come down. And right here, you can see that the helicopter, the propeller blades are held in by a little plastic knob on either side. Just grab those. There you go. And then this goes up like that and there you have your condor helicopter and then i got this 100 percent complete firecracker with hondo mclean vehicle and figure how cool is that great pickup truck vehicle of course this is the first hondo mclean vehicle he would eventually get the Hurricane classic car for his vehicle. Comes with a motorbike that is on the tailgate and it is just clipped on with that hitch there. All you got to do is just kind of pull it off. And there it is. There's no transforming features or anything like that on this motorbike. Just a classic motorcycle. And these move up and down, the lights here. The doors open up on either side. Let me get Hondo out of there for you. Here's Hondo. There he is. Get that off. There he is. Great character. And typical articulation for mask figures, right? Their head, their arms, their hips, and then their knees so they can get into the cockpits and the cabs of the vehicles. And then one of the cool features of this vehicle is the shooting tire that then releases uh, blades from it. And it's this button here that's on the wheel well. Just kind of push on it. It goes flying off and then you can see the blades come out of the tire of course this is usually lost <laughs> due to time and uh, floor registers and then the main action feature for the firecracker is this button here right here just push on it to the right pops up like that. We got the guns that shoot out there of the grill, the 
mask logo down there. Guns here on the inside, hidden in the wheel wells on either side. Here. I can move a little bit. Something else I wanted to point out is that the tailgate, you can pop it up and push it down. It would go all the way down, but I have the motorcycle attachment here. So that's cool. And then to push it back down, I found it easier to kind of push in on the guns and then it just slowly goes down and clicks into place. And then next I got this Firefly with Julio Lopez figure. Great condition. Stickers are in really good shape. And here's Firefly with Julio Lopez and the streamer mask. Get him out of the vehicle here. He's a little tricky. Oops. Not yet, guys. So there's Julio Lopez and his streamer mask. Mask off here. It's pretty good shape. I mean, paint wear is typical on these guys, especially around the hair and the face, just due to the mask coming on and off. But he's in pretty good shape. And then the cool features for the Firefly are these little buttons up here, right there, next to the chrome. So if you pull back on this, the wings pop out. And there are guns there, right there. You got the mask logo on the wings, which is great. And then you pull these out, just like that. They kind of snap down and additional weapons there. Pretty cool, right? So you got your flying craft here. Almost resembles an X-Wing a little bit, doesn't it? If you use your imagination. <laughs> the steering wheel moves here in the driver's seat. And one additional feature and something that's usually always gone is right under here, there's a little compartment right here gray piece in the middle so it only comes out when the wings are out and it holds a little bomb so all you have to do and this little button here will release it there it goes and this tiny little bomb goes on the inside so if you're looking for a complete firefly be sure to look in that compartment hit that button and uh, see if this bad boy is in there because if not you're probably gonna have a hard time finding this piece and then here is bullet with ali bombay this is from the racing series of mask from series three which still isn't available on dvd by the way all right and here is bullet with ali bombay and the Vortex Mask. Very Evil Knievel-like bike. Very All-American looking. As well as the figure's jumpsuit. His mask, however, is a bit off. Purple, I'm not quite sure why. But there he is. Ali Bombay and the Vortex Mask. Pretty cool. Like I said, the mask doesn't quite fit the overall aesthetic of the rest of the figure or the vehicle, but hey, uh, there has to be a reason somewhere, right? And so then we have the bullet vehicle itself, which is a motorbike, has the kickstand here. So you can da -da -da -da, set it up like that. Has the Valvoline endorsement on the sticker there and then so this is pretty simple this button here just pull it back boom and the hovercraft mode gets activated and it 
looks like turbines underneath and they can turn, spin. And then right here there's another button that pushes out another blaster. And then the back right here you can pull out and it has a string attached to it. It goes out pretty far so you can hook whatever to it. And then this little gear here, the red disc, you just wind it right back into the vehicle itself. And then pop it back into place. Like that. And then it just stays in. So that is Bullet from Series 3. And then from Series 3, I got this complete Wildcat truck with Clutch Hawks figure inside. This is a really tough one to complete, so I was happy to find this one for sure. And here is a Wildcat with Clutch Hawks, also known as Buddy Hawks. His figure was originally released with the Boulder Hill playset. And he didn't really have a vehicle until Series 3. So there he is, Clutch Hawks, or Buddy Hawks, as some know him. And he is a mechanic in the third season, the racing series. There his Ditcher mask. A very unique look to this mask a silvery tone with the blue highlights. Pretty neat. And there he is there. Got the earphones in. Cool figure. And then the Wildcat vehicle itself is obviously a tow truck. The doors open on either side. And then the tow hitch here on the back, you can push it up here, and this goes down, and you can put it at various levels, right? You can set it however you want. And it's the inside there is ridged. Here. So you can put it at various heights. And this doesn't stay on. This just kind of rests right here on the back. Like that. Got the Wildcat sticker there on the back. There's the other door. The grill. Cool vehicle. And then so the action feature here is this little button here. Just kind of press on it. Like that. And it pops up. Like that. You can put that back on there. Push that down if you want. And then this rotates like that on a ball joint. Of course, it had the guns that popped out in the front. And then these pop out as well, which I think are kind of a neat feature. It has the serrated edges here on the sides to cut down the competition, if you will. And if you look underneath the truck here, there's a little button here so right now, the car can just roll, right? Rolling down the road, cruising, shooting at Venom. I'll put these in real quick. But it's this little J slot here. You pick it up and push it forward like that. It locks those tires into place and it shoots these discs out.
So that is a, another great feature of this Wildcat toy. But like I said, you have to hit this switch there to lock the tires to activate that spring shooting mechanism. And then when you're done, this kind of reminds me of the pizza thrower, right? Ninja Turtles. You just pop the discs right back inside. Like that. Another fantastic vehicle from Wave 3 of Mask. So that's it guys. That's what I picked up recently off camera to add to my vintage toy collection. As you can see, some great mask items. I'm getting quite a collection there of mask. Thanks, Chad. You're a bad influence. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel at Reese Retro Toys for all of your vintage toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching and as always, keep on hunting.